Here, I want to show you how to implement the MapReduce in Java. We use the word count example, which we have seen in the previous video. This program, like other Java programs, starts with importing packages and classes. Most of these Hadoop packages, like MapReduce, Conf, and IO, should be imported in the most MapReduce programs. Our main class is named edxWordCount. It consists of two inner classes, edxMap and edxReduce, and the main function. In classes, we override map function and reduce function. In the main function, we configure the MapReduce job, set its parameters, and run it. Let's have a look at the edxMap class. As you can see, it inherits the mapper class from Hadoop. We set the types of input key value pairs and output key value pairs at the beginning. You may be confused with these variable types. These are specifically designed by Hadoop for efficient and fast parallel operations. Long writable is same as ordinary long type in Java. The input key of map function is the offset, place of the input value in the file. The input value here is a line of a text file, which is text type in Hadoop. Remember that in the word count problem, the map function receives text and for each word returns a key value pair consists of one word as the key and integer one as the value. So you see here text is type of the output key and intritable, which is the Hadoop's type for integers, is the type of the output value. Next, we override the map function. The first two arguments are offset as the key and one line of the input file as the value. Next, you see context. The context object is developed in the newer version of the Hadoop to unify several roles in the old API. It is used to communicate with the Hadoop system. What you mainly do with it, in usual examples, is to set the output key value pair. In the body of the function, I transfer the value to a variable type string and split it into the words. Then I transfer each word to a variable of type text again as the key. Finally, I set the key and constant one as the value with the object context. Now, let's have a look at the edX reduce class. This class inherits from the reducer class of Hadoop. The first two arguments of the reducer class demonstrate type of input key value pairs and should be the same as type of the intermediate key value pairs which are produced by the map function. Next two input arguments are types of key value pairs which are created by reduce function. In our example, the keys are words with type text and values are sum of integers with type interitable. To override the reduce function, note that it receives a list of values. They are given in the iterable object and are easily accessible one by one. You see context object here too, which I set the output key value pair with it. In the word count example, it is enough to sum all values of a key together to count the number of times that the key happened in the text. You can easily do it the same as what I did in the body of the function. Finally, let's go to the main function and configure the MapReduce process. Each MapReduce process is known as a job. With the function getInstance from the job class, I create a new job. The function setJarBy class inputs the MapReduce class, which is edX word count in our case. I should also assign a name to our job by using setJobName function. Next, I set edXMap as the mapper class and edXReduce as the reducer class. In the following two lines, I set types of output key value pairs for the reduce function. Hadoop set the same type for map function by default, and you can change them by using the function set map output key class or set map output value class. Set input format class sets how the map function reads the input file. Text input format reads the file line by line. Text output format also writes the final key value pairs line by line. Then I set the path for input and output file. Finally, job.wait for completion true runs the job. You can now run your first MapReduce program. I'll show you how to run it in the next page. Then I'll describe more examples for you.